standard form. So, what is this so-called standard form? Well, it looks like this, which doesn't look that standard. Apparently it is. So it looks like that. And I'm going to go through these parts. So N, this is number after the decimal place which you will get more when I do an example, so don't worry about that. And A, this is a number, not just any number. Okay, so A has to be a number between 1 and 10. It can be equal to 1, but it cannot be equal to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? Let's look at standard form of a number that we know very well. So this is 1,000. Okay, so 1,000 isn't really in this form, because I don't have this weird times 10 to the n. So I want to get it into that, but A has to be between 1 and 10, so obviously relevant to 1,000. So I'm going to pick 1 because it's here, and I know I can't pick 10 because it's not allowed to equal 10. So I do times 10 to the n, and this says number after the decimal place. So basically what I've done here when I've said 1 is I've kind of introduced decimal place. So 1, and then the decimal place would go there. That would be 1. 1 can be written as 1. One can be written as 1.0, 1.00, 1.0000, 000, etc. They're all 1, still exactly the same number, 1. Okay, but I didn't want 1, I wanted 1,000. So I want to move this and I want to go 1, 2, 3. So the number after the decimal place is 3. So that's how we do that. So that's 1,000. Let's do another one like that. So if I have a million in standard form. So I'll know I'll take the one, because that's here, can't take 10. So one, I've put the point in there, but that's not a million, that's one. So let's jump one, we've moved it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've moved the decimal point six times. And because we've gone six times that way, it's positive six. If I went that way, it would be negative 6. So we'll see big numbers have positive values, small numbers have negative ones. So we'll see an example of that. Let's look at this big number. And I want that in standard form. Okay, so this form here, which apparently is standard. So we need, we need A between 1 and 10. So in this case, I'm going to have to take 7, I'm going to have to take 7.258, because I can't take 72, because that's bigger than from 1 to 10. And then I need my times 10 to the, and then where have I moved my decimal point? So I've gone, I've gone from here, 7.258, and I've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, to the right, so... So that's the same number, exactly the same number, just a different way of writing it. So the same number in standard form. Let's do another one. So very similar, what would this be in standard form? Again, I'm looking at that, I'm thinking what number do I want? So the first one I get to has to be between 1 and 10, so I'm going to have to put the point in there. Okay, times 10 to the, and then where's, where's my decimal point gone? So I was here, I, well I put it in there, and I'm going, but this way I'm going left. So I'm taking away, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So this time it's negative 4. So can you see this is a very small number, so it's got a negative, and this is a very big number, so it's positive. So if you go left, negative. If you go right, positive. Going the other way. So what if I want to express as an ordinary number? Although, what is ordinary? Who knows? So, as we can see, that's in standard form, and now it's asking me for an ordinary number. If we start by writing just the number out, 5.23. Okay, and now I need to move, this is shifting the point, moving the decimal place. Negative 8, so I'm going to the left 8, so I'm going 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and he's been moved there. So I'm just going to have to fill this with zeros, make it really tiny. So 0.000000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, You can have quite a lot of fun with these, make them ridiculous.
So in this example, I want 224.1 million in standard form. Now what I can't do, I know 1 million has six zeros, and I know a million is times 10 to the 6. So for example, 1 mil is 1 times 10 to the 6. So if we've got this many million, we could write like this. However, this here is not in standard form. It looks a bit like this because A is not between 1 and 10. So basically, I have to change that. So that's incorrect, but it's quite a nice starting point. So I'm going to have 2.241 and then times 10 to the... But I've shifted the decimal point now and I'm making this number bigger. I've got 6 plus 2, which is times 10 to the 8. Okay, multiplying standard form, so let's just have an example. So basically, 3 times 10 to the 2 times 5 times 10 to the 6. So, numbers first, then we'll deal with these. It's a bit like the doing powers. Very, very similar. So, numbers first, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, times 10 to the... And then, just like power rules, you can't multiply these together when you have powers of something, so if I had x to the 2 multiplied by x to the 6, I get x to the 2 plus 6, which is x to the 8. So when you multiply powers, you add them. Now that is crucial to doing this, so I end up with 10 to the 2 plus 6, which is 8. So numbers first, then powers, and you use the power rules. So saying with um, dividing is the same as the power rules for dividing, so if we look at that. Okay, just like multiplication, do the numbers first. So you could write this 8 divided by 4, times 10 to the 5 divided by... That's not technically correct, but it's kind of the way I do it. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then times 10 to the... And then power rules again, so if you have division, so for multiplication you add, and for the division you subtract. So here I have 5, take away 3, so 2 times 10 to the 2 is the answer. Okay, so for adding there's one essential thing which is power of 10 must be the same. So if I have times 10 to the 3, they must um, all be in times 10 to the 3 form. You can't then add something that's 10 to the 5. So all powers of 10 must be the same for adding. This is very similar to fractions. So when you add and subtract fractions, you um, have to have the same denominator. Well, this is kind of the same thing, but your denominator is your power of 10. So let's look at an example. This is, as you would expect, numbers first. 1.2 plus 2.2 is 3.4, and then you just keep, it's the same power of 10, you just keep that there. And the button you use on your calculator, you can have x, or the one I use is times 10 to the x, and then you just write it in.